winter is coming and that means lots of snowboarding, skiing and skating. And these are just some of the Canadian Winter Olympians you should be watching. Number one, Vanessa James and Eric Radford. This is going to be good. Radford surprised us all by coming out of retirement last spring, but he didn't come back with his longtime partner, Megan Duhamel. He's skating with Vanessa James, who used to compete on Team France, but was born near Toronto and is also a Canadian citizen. These two are massively talented and had so much success apart. So we'll see if they can turn a last minute partnership into an Olympic appearance and also see how many medals they pick up on the way. Everything has just sort of fallen into place without us really trying. And I kind of compared it to, you know, we're, we're driving down the road, we've taken our hands off the wheel, we have our eyes closed and everything just keeps staying a course. And I think that when something like that happens, it's the universe trying to tell you that you're on the right path. If you've never watched a half pipe contest, you need to like right now, because Canada is home to Cassie Sharp, the reigning Olympic champion in ski half pipe. Will we see the 1080 tail grab? Yes, we will. Huge landing for Cassie Sharp of Canada. Cassie Sharp from Comox, BC wins gold. Never scared to go big, Sharp knows how to win. She's got six X Games medals and eight World Cup titles. There's also high anticipation because Sharp didn't really compete last year. She crashed at X Games Aspen and tore her ACL and MCL. Sharp had surgery and since then has been at the gym getting back to Olympic form. So watch out for her to step back on the gas and hopefully get the chance to defend her gold medal in Beijing. One of Canada's most successful athletes is back for more. We're talking about the king himself, Mikhail Kingsbury. He has a record 65 World Cup wins, is a six-time world champion, and in 2018, finally got the one title that eluded him, Olympic champion. The story with Kingsbury has quickly become whether there's a limit to his otherworldly consistency. Last season, he won nine consecutive World Cups, and the only things that stopped him from winning more were a serious back injury and a pandemic. So this winter, Kingsbury will see how close to perfect he can ski, but also go for another huge title, back-to-back -back Olympic champion. Number four, short track speed skater Kim Boutin. You might remember this name from Pyeongchang 2018. Boutin is in the second spot, making a push of the Chinese competitor Lee. Boutin and Lee in behind Chaemin Song. Chaemin Song races to the line. It looks like Boutin might have a second consecutive bronze medal. It was Boutin's first games, but she brought home three medals, two bronze and a silver, making her Canada's only triple medalist in South Korea. Boutin carried Canada's flag in the closing ceremony, and heading to Beijing, she is in fine form. Boutin dominated at the Canadian Short Track Championships in 2021, taking the overall national title. So we'll see what she can do this season and whether she'll build towards another incredible Olympics. And last but not least, we have Mr. Mark McMorris. Canada's favorite snowboarder has had quite the journey up until this point. From a broken femur in competition to a near-death accident in the mountains, McMorris is coming into the season not only healthy, but also the reigning Big Air world champion. And that's on top of his two Olympic bronze medals and record-breaking 20 X Games medals. It's hard to imagine there's more on McMorris's to-do list, but there is something. I would love to go to the next Olympics and change the shade of the two medals I've had in previous games. So just really put the work in over the next year and a half and hopefully just show up and kill it there.